Now at four, a historic moment in a Florida case that is seen as a notorious example of racial injustice. Seventy years after being wrongfully accused of raping a woman, a group of men are being honored today in Lake County. A monument dedicated to the Groveland and Fort was formally unveiled. News 6's Clay Lepard is there now, now live. Clay. Julie, it took a year to design and make, but for family members of the Groveland Four, this is something they've been waiting for their whole lives. Even though there's clouds in the sky, within the Greenleaf family today, unveiling this monument, we have sun shining in our lives. Her father is no longer around, but Carol Greenlee knows her dad's legacy has forever changed as Lake County leaders, along with the governor, unveiled a monument to honor the Groveland Four. This has been a, a hard journey, but a good journey. A very, very worthwhile journey. Her father, Charles Greenlee, along with Walter Irvin, Samuel Shepard, and Ernest Thomas, were wrongly accused of raping a white woman in Lake County back in 1949. The story garnered all sorts of attention as one of those men was hunted down by locals and shot more than 400 times, while the three others were convicted. That monument is located right in front of the Lake County Historical Museum, which was the courthouse. What happened in this courthouse was a travesty of justice. And what happened in Lake County was nothing short of racial terrorism. This has been a contentious issue as friends and family of the accuser still stand behind her story. That's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. News 6 spoke with the accuser's son and daughter-in-law over the phone after the monument was unveiled. I ain't going to look at it. Why would I want to do that? It pains me to go tell my mother such as this. The governor pardoned the Groveland Four last year, but there was still a push today from family members and local leaders for exoneration. In Tavares, Clay Lepard getting results, News 6.